Presiding officer, I'm sure the First Minister and the Chamber uh, will join with me in expressing deepest sympathies uh, to the family uh, of the Russian asylum seekers who tragically committed suicide in the Red Road area of my constituency. Presiding officer, can I ask the First Minister if he will look into the tragic circumstances of these uh, sad deaths and take the necessary steps to ensure uh, that the proper resources have been uh, and will continue uh, to learn from the lessons in respect of future resources that should be provided to deliver the support services uh, that should be uh, required to not only support asylum seekers in our local communities, but also uh, support uh, the local communities who have for so many years in my constituency supported those who seek refuge uh, in Scotland. First Minister. Well, the tragic incident in uh, a shocked uh, local community in the members' constituency across Glasgow and indeed across Scotland, and I offer my deep sympathy uh, to those who have been affected. Uh, I remain committed, and I hope this whole chamber remains committed to the fair treatment of all those who seek asylum here in Scotland. Uh, I think uh, a great deal has been done, uh, not just through public authorities, but through voluntary agencies, uh, to support those who have sought uh, asylum in Scotland. But I'm sure Paul Martin will be the first to accept that people in that position can often suffer circumstances of deep uncertainty uh, in terms of their future. Uh, I've said a number of times in this chamber that I think we have an obligation to asylum seekers which is equal to the obligation of the citizens we have across Scotland. They are in our country and are entitled to our protection. In terms of looking further at the specific circumstances of this case, then obviously the one potential route would be a fatal accident inquiry. Uh, but I'm sure that Paul Martin will understand that to take such a step is for the discretion of the law officers and the law advocate. But I'm sure uh, that she will have heard his question today and will respond in a timorous and timely way. Uh, I'll take another supplementary from Derek Brownlee.